Hey guys, Lou here. Downey Mountain Houses, 18 foot, brand new design. It's our Marlowe Summit. And what's really cool, it's a deck over. So what that means is there's no wheel wells that impede into the floor space. That floor is above the tires. Not only that, is it's nine and a half feet wide. It's a foot wider than our typical units. This is the first of a series that we'll be building going forward with a nine and a half foot width. So with that nine and a half foot width, we're also taller. We're right under 14 feet in shipping height. Um, gable roof, we've got some things that we've added to the outside of this house that I think really accentuate um, the looks of it. We've got this cedar uh, front end wall accent. The dual farmhouse lights up here as well. And then we've also, if you notice it, up the overhang itself actually has a pine TNG uh, that's, that's laid inside that area, tying in very nicely with the cedar. This is a single loft unit, seven feet by uh, almost nine and a half feet, actually nine foot, I don't know, it's some change, two. Um, and then it's got another storage loft in the front. You'll see that when we get in there. So come on in guys, let's take a peek. Check this out. You gotta take a look at this kitchen. Nice, long kitchen cabinet. Look at the uh, black walnut that we do all the time. Look at this sink. Oil rub bronze. Isn't that awesome? The commercial spring style faucet. Soap dispenser. Two burner cooktop. Uh, this is a, a, I mean, the glass top looks great. Small, this is a 5.1 refrigerator freezer, stainless steel, good size for this space. Um, subway tile, black rod style pulls throughout this uh, white cabinetry. I think it's a really nice contrast. Um, um, the commercial vinyl plank flooring. You do have an exhaust fan above the cooktop in the kitchen area or the cooking area too. Um, as we look into the bathroom, now we've yet to install the medicine cabinet, so that's why you're just looking at that blue tile wall. Um, that's a 36 inch one piece fiberglass shower. So I like the one piece because you don't have seams in there that can cause you issues. You know, mold and water seepage and all those things. The quaint sink, um, kind of cool, isn't it? Got there is a residential flush toilet. Um, and as I always say, I mean, if you want something different, we do composting, dry flush, incinerating toilets. I mean, it goes on and on. Oh, one of the things that I, I didn't show you and I want to now is a pocket door. And what we've done is painted it a nice light gray. I think it turned out really nice. Can lights in the bathroom are standard. And of course, you've got an exhaust fan uh, in there as well. This space over here is, is for the washer dryer, you know, or this could be a cabinet, it really is up to you, but it's prepped for, plumbed for, I should say, a single unit washer dryer in that space. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the living room area of this house. This is the secondary loft. I mean, this is two feet, and of course, you know, we're almost nine and a half feet in width there. Uh, storage, that's, that's essentially what this is. Notice I've got, the, the rod for the ladder, I mean, it extends you know, pretty good way so you can actually at least climb this ladder and place whatever you want to put up there and easily get it, get it down. Okay, this area in here is actually an entry closet. Um, we've got two barrel chairs here in the living room area. And of course, I mean, if you want to put a futon in here or a sleeper sofa or something along those lines, easy enough, guys. This is just kind of an example and an idea uh, of something you might do. Large windows, I mean, we've got 80 inch windows, three of them throughout this uh, build. Um, and I think they, they really do a nice job of bringing natural light in here. Um, and as always, these windows are low E, argon gas filled, very energy efficient. Um, as we go to my right, you've got this pantry cabinet with a drawer, nice little workspace here, if that's what you wanna use it for. Um, once again, the 80 inch window. So then you've got the overhead cabinets, and we've got our mini split in here for heating and cooling. This house also has uh, an on-demand tankless water heating system. You know, as long as you've got propane and, and, and water coming in here, you'll have all the hot water you can use. So here we are, primary loft. 
uh, the Marlow Summit. Seven feet, I mean, actually we're you know, nine foot two. This is a queen bed. Um, ceiling space, I mean, we were just a little over 50 inches here uh, in height from the loft. And below the loft is six foot six, if I didn't mention that earlier, by the way. Um, tongue and groove, pine, uh, on both the lofts, by the way. Um, you've got exposed um, TNG on the bottom. But lots of room up here, guys. Look at this. I mean, you got walk around space here. You got room for storage. I mean, geez, there's probably almost three feet of space alongside the bed before you hit the edge of the loft. Um, you'll notice this has a single ladder in it. This ladder works to access the, the storage loft as well as um, the primary loft here, as you can see. Um, so I think it works out well. I mean, this is a, a quaint design um, for a nine and a half by 18. I think it's pretty cool. All right, guys, you know what? I really enjoyed walking you through the Marlowe Summit. I mean, and I think, you know, with this new floor design, the nine and a half, um, I, I really think that this is just gonna add a whole new element to what we're offering um, to you now. So nine and a half feet, just to give you a recap on this house, 18 feet long. Um, we are 14 feet high in shipping. Um, we've got the 80 inch windows. Uh, we've got a ceiling height in this house, almost 11 feet. We're six, six under the lofts uh, with, with the uh, 50 some odd inches above it. Um, we've got the really cool black walnut countertops in here. You know, I talk about them all the time. I really like them. Um, the white cabinets, the black rod style uh, hardware in here. I really like the way that that oil rub bronze um, sink uh, really uh, adds to uh, the black walnut, the commercial faucet, the soap dispenser, the two burner cooktop. I mean, the 5.1 uh, stainless steel refrigerator uh, with a freezer in it. You know, this has got a quaint bathroom with a, with a one piece uh, three foot shower, the, the, the petite sink, the standard toilet. Um, in this house, it's also full, fully insulated, of course, walls, floor, ceiling. It has an on-demand tankless water heating system. Um, the uh, mini split, uh, very fuel, very fuel, very efficient uh, and quiet, I might add, uh, for heating and cooling. Um, the commercial vinyl plank floor in this house. I mean, so it really has a lot of amenities in here. The secondary loft for storage, I mean, it's two feet. Um, but it does give you, you know, an area for additional storage, the entry closet, the prep for washer dryer, um, the seven foot uh, by over nine foot uh, main loft up there with the, with the queen bed. So we got a lot of amenities in here. You know, if this size build works for you, fantastic. You know, if you think you want something a little different, that's fantastic too. You know, we welcome your call. We'd love to talk to you, your email. Um, so listen, I, I just want to wrap this up saying once again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You know, if you like what you see, you know, hit that like link. We, we would appreciate that. Um, if you have any questions of us, we'd love to hear from you. You know, I want to say thank you again, uh, all the TMH, Tiny Mountain Houses staff um, that have helped to make this happen. Um, once again, peace be with you. Take care.